Well, hey, everybody. We've got an amazing episode for you today. We have got boxes from the man himself, half gladiator, half geek, three Marvel Funko Pop mystery boxes, and we've got some Funko sodas to open. So you know what to do. Stay tuned. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's video. If you guys are new here, I sure hope I can earn your subscription by the end of this episode. So guys, we have got an amazing episode, so make sure to join the like squad, or as a lot of you like to call it, the Luke squad. Click that thumbs up. Go ahead and click that notification bell and turn all post notifications on, but only if you enjoy what I'm doing here. So guys, we have got an action-packed episode. I was just about to film and I got this bag from Hot Topic. Monday we did that video. So let's open this one, pop in a bag and see what's in here. What did I order? What was trickling in from Hot Topic? Because I'm not saving it for another video, I know it's something I want. What did we get? Oh, oh, oh yeah, guys. Boom. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Mountain Dew. I am excited about this series. You saw me pull the uh, Dale Earnhardt. Love that pop. And this is Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the uh, green Mountain Dew. Absolutely love it. Pretty excited about it, guys. Make sure to let me know down below what you think of the NASCAR pops. If you guys collect them or like them. Or uh, just like our buddy who always watches these uh, Duck Dodgers. Favorite NASCAR driver, Bubba Wallace Jr. All right, guys. So, we have got some Funko sodas. I have got the Flash. We've got a Roger Rabbit. And we've got a Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. So, we're going to open them up and do a chase hunt before we get to. It's over $200 in Marvel Funko Pop mystery boxes from the man himself, Cletus. Half Gladiator, Half Geek. Amazing boxer. Great dude. Um, first time on the channel I've gotten these boxes. So the first one we'll open is the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, I hope I get the chase. I really want the chase. I have the common. So here he is, guys. The Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And he is... Oh, the common. That's okay. He's still cool. Definitely cool, but he is the common. All right, we also got one of these Roger Rabbits. So guys, also while we're opening these, I'll pin the information to the top, but um, last week we were giving away a couple prints by uh, one of my friends, local guy, Marco. So we're going to go over and um, we've showed him some love. And I got two winners who are going to get to pick out two prints. Remember, you want to email me at beardapop at gmail.com. And the winners of that is Johnny G and Jackson and Shaw. So Jackson and Shaw, you won for IG. Johnny G, you won for the YouTube video, guys. Congratulations. Please email me at beardapop at gmail.com. Let me know which print you want. And... I'll get them autographed for you, and if you want them autographed to you, I can get them autographed to you. It's an amazing process Marco took me through where he showed me um, how he did it. So what he does is it actually starts out with a picture of the action figure. So you guys who commented that you loved those samurai action figures and stuff like that were right on par. So it's amazing work that he does, and I love it. So we got the Roger Rabbit soda here. I do not have this one yet. So I'm pretty excited to get it. Here he is. Is that the... Oh, yeah! We got him, guys. We got the Chase Roger Rabbit. Oh, I had a feeling with the kisses. And see, guys, this brings up an interesting point. A cool dude, a cool company, JT Customs, right? They sent these uh, displays for Funko Sodas. Well, what happened was somebody tagged me and showed me his product. 
I went over there. I said, dude, I really like it. I'd like to get uh, four of them. I paid and everything. Then a little later, I guess he didn't know, you know, not everybody knows, and I don't go that way. So I don't approach people like, hey, who am I? And uh, he goes, dude, I didn't realize that you did YouTube and open this stuff. I would have given them to you for free to show off. So he gave me a refund. But I'm going to tell you guys honestly that I saw these and I paid my own money for them because I wanted them. And these are a JT's Custom Soda Tops. I'm pretty excited about these. These looked really cool. They're actually machined. It's a solid uh, weighted item. So these are really cool. So what we're going to do is you take this piece and it actually fits right on top of the soda. And then you can take your little pog and put it right there like that. And then you can put them right there like that. And then you can display them on the shelf. The main reason that I really wanted these was because of my Funko sodas that I display up here. I really wanted to uh, display those and a few others. And with the weight on these, it really adds some stability. And they're super nice. So what he wanted to do was he wanted to give away a pack of these. So we're going to give away a three pack of these for free. So down below, I want you to go ahead and hashtag BOP, and that'll enter you to win next week's video, a pack of three of these amazing custom soda things. Uh, they're soda tops, not things, sorry, but they are amazing. And they allow you to, to display your soda and the pog. It's awesome. I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. I love them. I actually was going to buy them myself. And um, so what we'll do is also, if you guys want to order some of these or some of his other products, go over to his IG down below, go over there and give him a follow as well, okay guys? And then what you're going to do is if you see anything you want to buy, you just message him right on IG and let him know that the beard sent you. And you'll get 10% off of anything that you want to order from him. See, here's even the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man who doesn't even usually uh, stand up very well, and especially balancing on a soda, but check that out. That's a pretty cool little thing, guys. Very nice, very nice dude. So remember, guys, go down below, hashtag BOP, and that'll enter you to win a three-pack of these uh, to display some of your Funko sodas. Um, it's a pretty cool thing, and um, I'm pretty excited about them, and I appreciate them. And like I said... I didn't approach him for free, and he found out and said, dude, I want, to, I want to send them to you for free. So I was going to spend my own money on them. So guys, we got one more right here, the Flash Soda. And I do have a common one that I was sent, but I do not have the Chase. So we're pretty much Chase hunting. I hope I get the Chase. But um, these are some pretty cool soda tops. So here's the first pull out of the flash on the channel boom now is that the uh that is the common flash pretty cool but just like all the rest of these you could take one of your jt custom soda tops set it right on top of there put that guy right there and um if you remember to take the pog out of here which i did oh it's right here <laughs> You could display it whatever way you want, and then you just set it up like that, and then they can display with the can. I think it's a pretty novel idea. I think a lot of you will like it. It's a pretty cool thing, and um, I appreciate him sending them over to me to show them off, and I especially appreciate him doing a giveaway for you guys and throwing you a discount code. So remember down below, hashtag BOP. I'll do a random comment picker next Friday, and we'll pick the winner. Make sure to go follow him over on IG and say hi. And if you see anything you like, 10% off. The beard sent you. So thank you very much, uh, JT Customs. I appreciate the support for the channel, my brother. And uh, really do like the soda tops. Really do. All right. So down to what we've been waiting for. Half Gladiator, half Geek, Marvel, 
Funko Pop mystery boxes. So these were a deal. They were $70 each. So for three, it was $210. But if you ordered three, $180. Bucks. He sent these little funny videos of uh, his girlfriend running over and numbering them, you know, for funny. He's a cool dude. Great boxer. Love him. Never got any of these boxes before. Want to thank one of the viewers, uh, Anthony Just Blaze for uh, making sure to let me know that these were dropping. I thank everybody who helped me today, you know, with the Funko Fair stuff. Um, yesterday, I was able to get all the WWE stuff, except, of course, the exclusive 7-Eleven uh, Stone Cold, and I'll eventually get that. Um, but it was absolutely amazing, so thank you guys for all that. Let me know also, what do you think of the Funko Fair so far? Did you get everything you wanted? Um, is there a lot of stuff you do want? My wallet was marked safe until the sodas and then the WWE. You know me. We're going to figure it out because that rock with Stone Cold coming. So, guys, this is packed really well. The first box. Now, there was some good stuff in these boxes. There was a prototype Groot and all sorts of stuff. So, the first one, boom. Spider-Man. From the Gamerverse, number 334. It's a super cool pop. It's got him in motion with a little stand there. Really cool pop. All right. So there's three pops in here. The second one is, boom, Spider-Man Homecoming. That's a pretty cool one. He's wearing his little jacket. That's sweet. I like that. And you can see the rest of the sets on the back. Definitely a Spider-Man box. Next one. Boom. Six-arm Spider-Man. Walgreens exclusive. Very cool pop. I don't have that one. Need to pop him back in a little bit in the box. That happens. But that's a cool one. Definitely a cool three pops. S very Spider-Man-y, but of course, what do you expect with Marvel? And that's interesting how uh, this one doesn't, they don't say Marvel on the top on the Game Reverse one. Hm. I'll have to look at some of my other pops and see if that's the case. And let's make sure, yep, that's it. Box one. All right, we got box two right here. They all came taped together, and I separated them to make them easier. But you can see right here, this one, this first one was box 70. This box here was box uh, 41. See, beer to pop. All right. Let's open this one up. All right. Let's hope for some big hits, guys. Let's hope for some big hits. That's what I want, some big hits in here. want a prototype. I don't own a proto yet. Love to get a proto, like a proto group. Now we're tearing through it. First pop is, ooh, Grinning Ultron. That is from the 2015 Summer Convention exclusive. Ho, ho, ho. That, I know, is a good pop. That is sweet. I love, <laughs> I like that pop. I have the regular one on the shelf, but man, that one is cool. Very cool. Very excited to get that one from 2015. Wow. All right. Next one is, boom, Wolverine. Ooh, that is a cool one. I really honestly, guys, don't know the story with this one. I don't know the story with this one. I'll find out, but I'm not sure what the story with this one is. But uh, he might be an exclusive to somewhere, and he doesn't have a sticker. But uh, that's a sweet one right there. He's black and gray with the red eyes. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty good box right here. That is cool. Very cool. Very cool, guys. Make sure to comment down below and let me know. You can see the whole OG set on the back, all with Red Skull. So let me know down below. 
The next one is, boom. Oh, it's Groot. Not, not a prototype Groot, but that is Groot Hot Topic exclusive. Oh, and we're going to have to keep that one because you know Carrie and the Groots. Got to keep the Groots. And that's a funny face he's making. He's like... <laughs> Oh, and this one has four. So the next one is, boom. Ooh, that's Spider-Gwen. I don't have this one. We're going to keep this because, you know, Carrie, I'll link the video. She dressed up as Spider-Gwen. It's one of her favorite costumes, and I don't have the pop. Whenever I get a pop of a costume we wore, I definitely keep it for the memories. So that's awesome. No matter what that's worth, that's a keeper for me and an amazing pop. Very exciting, very exciting, very exciting. All right. Well, that takes care of a great, a great box, too. Very excited about those. I mean, but of course, you know, I love Marvel. So, I mean, you know, getting Marvel pops and loving Marvel. You got to, you know, it's just great. <laughs> All right. We got some pops in here, too. All right, the first one is, boom. Oh, this is the Captain America 75th Anniversary Kohl's Exclusive. This is a cool one. Um, it doesn't hold much value, as I remember, but it's definitely cool for the sticker collectors. There's not that many Kohl's exclusives. Um, that one is pretty sweet. I uh, love Captain America. Definitely a cool Marvel box to have all these cool exclusives. The next one is... That's a Marvel Dr. Octopus. Check that one out. It's definitely a uh, cool looking Marvel pop. It's from the same series as the uh, Spider Gwen we pulled in the last box. Very cool. So, all right, the next one we got is. Uh, Boom. Oh, the Hulk from Thor. Ragnarok. I actually have the mini. I have him and I have the 10 inch up here on display. I actually don't have one in a good box. So maybe be sticking around for a while. But that's a pretty cool pop. Pretty cool pull. I like that pop. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. And is there one more left in here? Oh. Oh. It's from the Daredevil. It's Daredevil Masked Vigilante before he got the costume. That's a cool pop. Definitely an awesome pull. Definitely one I don't have. And um, it does have a little sticker on the window. But a little secret, guys. You take that sticker off, you can usually get some of that residue off with um, a little bit of hand sanitizer. I prefer to use the gel type because it doesn't run, so you don't risk getting it on the box or anything. But a little bit of hand sanitizer usually helps clean these up and it won't hurt the plastic. So, you know, even like uh, if you get a fake autograph and you want to remove it, um, hand sanitizer works great. I mean, I know like isopropyl alcohol and all that, but I like the gel hand sanitizer, usually with the 80% or above on the uh, alcohol level. Uh, because it does stay in the same place, you know. It does still run a little if you lay it flat, but it allows you to really clean that stuff up. So I'm going to definitely be trying that. But guys, first ever Half Gladiator, Half Geek Mystery Boxes are a success. Definitely Marvel. Um, got some of these awesome, awesome uh, soda tops from over at JT's Customs. Remember these? So make sure to go down below and hashtag BOP. Go check them out on Instagram. I'll link them in the description. If you want 10% off, hey, the beard sent you. So guys, thank you for joining me this Friday. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Make sure tomorrow night, 8 p.m., join me over on the Nerd Bar. And also, guys, tonight, Eight, at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'll be over on Whatnot, guys. So join me over there for a lot of fun and some good music. But hey, guys, until next time, 
This video's over, and Beard of Pops, out.